Hello guys and welcome back. So in the last section we saw that in when whenever Angular sees the form tag inside a template, it automatically adds some of the Angular classes like ng untouched, ng pristine, and ng valid to it. And then if we make some changes to this form and we try to submit it right now, nothing is going to happen. But then we have these classes on just this form tag. What if we wanted to add these classes to the input tag as well so that these input tags could also be considered as a part of this form well in that case we can use something called uh, an ng model so if i type in ng model now in this first input tag and save it then i'll see that inside my template if i open this up then i'll see that the Classes for this form control were also added like ng untouched, ng pristine, and ng valid. Okay, so how exactly is this happening? Well, when we add an ng model directive to an input tag, then Angular considers this as a form control and then it generates a JavaScript representation of this input using the ng model and it makes a form control for this okay so now let's say uh, let's let's do this for all the other tags as well so i add the ng model directive to all the inputs and if i save this now then i should see that all these inputs are having these classes okay so we have just started to add to this form these classes or these form controls now in this form there is an output property that is assigned to this form and the name of this property is ng submit okay so since this is an output property, we can bind to it using the property binding syntax. And with this, I'm just going to call a method named submit on my component class. So I'll go back to this class and I'll create a method named this. And let's log form submitted to the console for now. Like so, if we save this and submit the form, let's go to the console, let's submit the form and we should see form submitted. Okay, so this is how you can listen to the submission of a form in Angular using the ng form submit. And this is how you can add multiple form controls to a form, adding the ng model directive to a particular input inside this form so now in the next session we are in the next video we are going to talk about uh, how exactly we can use these forms or or use these controls on the form and get get a javascript representation of this form in this submit method right here okay so we will be passing the javascript representation of this form in the submit method as an argument and then we'll be having a look at it inside this typescript class so i'll see you guys in the next video bye